Hi guys and welcome to the second half of the new hardcore season, whatever you want to call this, where we've already got our max traders and we've decided to push towards Kappa. Now there's a few things to take note. I build a really cool spreadsheet and I go through different tasks that I'm trying to get done and limit it, like try and help me progress in a nice and smooth way. We should hopefully make it so we're a lot more streamlined and getting stuff done. I'm not going to spoil anything coming up, but there's a lot of really action-packed raids coming up and uh, I'm actually quite surprised on how well we start out the second half of this season now we are going for cap up but there are some things that are going to be very difficult to make it actually happen including these gunsmith tasks there are certain items that are just nearly impossible to find uh and we could be spending 20 30 40 50 hours to try and find a single item and then uh you know we might not ever find it so what i did is all the difficult items to get like the ones that are super rare I sent a list off to BSG and said, hey, would you be able to add some barter trades to the game for these items? So it was about 10 to 15. And if they do that, then I think we should be able to get to the Kappa in a reasonable amount of time. There's a few other people that do hardcore playthroughs and this should hopefully help them if they decide to go for Kappa. And if they do these barter trades, I actually would be kind of considering doing all the way to Kappa in future seasons. But I thought I'd chuck this little bit of an intro spiel here and uh, say that we are actually gonna go for Kappa and hopefully, you guys will enjoy what's to come because it's actually been a lot of fun filming it so far. Anyway, without further ado, let's crack straight into it. I did exclamation mark task left for you guys. All right, took a whole half an hour this morning to make this for you. It's literally every task remaining. Every task remaining. All right, so Prepper, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Therapist, we've got three. Fence, we've got one. Skier, we've got six. Peacekeeper, we've got nine. Mechanic, we've got 14. Ragman, we've got one. And Jaeger, we've got 15. All right. Some of them are super easy. Like some of these tasks is just like uh, intimidating. It's just like 50 scav headshots. Right. And this one's just go into the bunker of reserve and um, pick up some items. I think we just need to get four more raid kills in the bottom of reserve. Like some of these tasks, like they might be a little bit challenging at times, but you know, overall speaking, we should be able to get them done quite, quite simply. These are going to be a big problem. These are going to be a big problem. Mm. Shooter board in heaven will probably be pretty frustrating too. Uh, and test drive part one could be really bad. All right. Um, now some good things, some good things, some bad things, but let's talk about some good things. All right. Before we get into actually playing, we have library done. So, getting experience is not going to be a problem anymore. We've got an extra 15% right there. Um, we also have Booze Generator. Now, if we need to find some sugars, right? We need to find some sugars to make two moonshine. Then, once we have the two moonshine, we need one more gold chain and one more lion, and we can get the scav case. The scav case is what's going to help us a lot when it comes to gunsmith. All right, it's going to help us get those random items for Gunsmith. So uh, any excess intel we have, any excess cash, um, if we find any moonshine, we can run scav case. Um, so yeah, we need to find three moon, uh, three, sorry, three sugars, and then we can make, make some for that. You don't need power on for the scav case, unless I'm mistaken. Uh, Bitcoin farm, if we do want to go for it, we still need seven more PSUs. I don't think it's really necessary, but... If we're going to be turning the power on, we might as well have it. Outside of that, we also have the weapon rack. The weapon rack, I was going to make completely for Gunsmith Tars. So we've got the DVL in there, we've got the ASVAL um, and the Vector. We need to find it one specific item for the Vector. It's going to be really annoying. We need to find, I think it's the barrel. That's the five inch barrel. Yeah, we need like the six inch barrel. It's going to be really annoying. We've got a few items. Um, Deadpoint did send me a a spreadsheet that he's been using. Maybe I'll open up on a different screen. I go through every gunsmith and all the parts needed. So yeah, we need the Chris Vector Mark V modular rail, the tactical dynamic skeletonized foregrip. That's not too difficult. Um, the big stick we've got, suppressor and the six inch barrel. So the modular rail, Mark V modular rail and the six inch barrel is where it's gonna get rough. So I'm not gonna focus gunsmith together. Sorry, I'm not gonna focus gunsmith. Um, I'm going to focus all these other tasks and then we'll move into doing gunsmith stuff. Some of the things that um, we should definitely be doing dailies every day. I logged in yesterday to help make that spreadsheet stuff. 
We don't really need experience points anymore. So we should use these dailies to try and help us get better stuff. So like, for example, we don't really need that one. We don't want to lose rep though. Hand over an SSD and two caps and we get two gold chains. Done. Survive three woods. Sure. On you weekly. Wait, do we have the operating room key? We must, because I think we've done that quest. Yeah, we've done that quest. Eliminate scads using a Makarov. Eliminate scads on shoreline with headshots. We don't really need this. Oh, well. Yeah, we needed one more change, so that, that's a W right there. All right. So, we're on. I think starting off as horrible as it is, getting Lendley's part one done and Vitamins part one would be really good. So we need to get into 112 on shoreline. We have a few things to do on shoreline. So um, Lendley's part one, uh, it, this, is, this is west. I'm pretty sure this one's in the west 216 that we need to get into. Yeah, because we've already be we've got the west 30608, east 30608 key. So this is west 216. We need to get into West 112 for vitamins. Um, and then while we're doing that, we also can get into uh, killing Sanita. I think we kill Sanita over doing the other task because Colleagues Part 3 is going to be really hard for us to do. Um, Artemis work. That's in the 328. So we need to go into we need the utility key or 328 key. And then we've got no swiping, which we don't have to do, but it's there, you know. Um, we also have Shooter Born in Heaven. So... We could technically, I think we save every M700 we can. Let's just use a shotgun. We don't have, we've got to, we've got to collect snipers. So we're going to have to do woods sniper runs. Needed one ice green tea to finish my weekly. Scavved uh, into woods and hit looted a Mercom. Got a lead. Thanks, bad looters. <laughs> uh, we don't have any shotgun ammo. That's annoying. What about we take in the Mosin and we try and do... Let's do this. What do you think? This is the Max Traders account, yeah. We take this in the shoreline. Oh, no. Nah. Let's just take a Grizzly in. Cool. All right. Shoreline keys. I'm, I'm a little bit forgetful on where the hell everything is. Do we have extra keys hidden somewhere? There. Do we have any shoreline we need to take in? No. Okay, cool. So these are all our shoreline keys. West 306, 301... 219 cottage i think it's cottage safe isn't it there's ragman the one ragman task we need one teapot as well bring a pistol no we're a bit low in meds all right we need to collect up some meds too Calm, car car extract money too how are we going for cash three mil what could we use the cash for we could we could do mentor but we need level 10 snipers so we don't want to jump the gun there where are we at with snipers one we need to get this to how many levels do you get shooter born in heaven? Five? So we need this at level two before we pay for mentor. Five. Because then mentor's three. And that gets us to ten. If we're on level two. So we need level two snipers. All right. Morning or night chat? Let's go morning. All right. So we need one lion, three sugars. All right. So realistically, how long do you reckon this will take to get done? I reckon this will take another 30 to 40 episodes at least. So we've got 50, what? 57 tasks or some shit. What do you think we should do? Should we focus on getting Shoreline and Lighthouse done? Oh, we should be doing Nighttime. Ugh, Insomnia. Where could we do Insomnia? We don't really have any tasks left on street, so we should be doing Insomnia on a map. Reserve. We should be doing Insomnia on Reserve. We look for weapon parts and we kill players while we're doing it. We need so many weapon parts. And the only problem I have with Reserve is it's a lot harder to go out of a raid. All right. Realistically, we don't want to get in fights. If we can help it. What are boss spawn rates right now? 30% still? Morning Al, how you doing dude? Is the hidden stash is still at the back here? Let's do them. Check them away. I told you that it's like 6.9. So repair their gun. It's no longer 8.
How much redstone until you create your own uh, taco tracker? Imagine if I got like access to the API. It used to be here, the hidden stash. Yeah, I'm doing shooter born with a stubby Mosin. Are they still here? They're, I know they're not 100%, but I haven't seen these ones here this while. Doing well, but I got tag of hot take for you. What's that, Alice Mill? That just in, are now, is that your hot tank? Wait, what's his hot tank? The actually stuff that we need for the hideout now is actually very minimal. Like very minimal. People didn't respond. Uh, uh, it's not a straight 30%. I'm pretty sure it is. I should send Nikita another message saying weekly reminder increased boss spawn rates. We have to kill Senator as well. Senator! Scav? Alright, we can kill that Scav to get some more gear. Shaft. There's one sugar. So I know that they say like stash is dynamic, but seriously, I find this stash like every time. Hot take. Tech items needed for Intel 3 and solar panels being locked into labs and being RNG is complete BS. I'm fine with them not being on flea or into gamma. If labs only, they need to be 100% spawn rate. I, I don't agree. I kind of like the idea that Labs only has those items and that you've got to find them in there. The, the, don't hate me for saying this, but I kind of feel like if it wasn't for like the exuberant amount of cheaters in Escape from Tarkov, people would actually play Labs a lot more just for fun and for the loot and going in there to like get those items. It's just that everyone everyone's afraid of the cheaters, so they don't want to go near Labs. I think it's because in, in other maps, you have a chance to get your gear back. Whereas labs, there's no insurance. So.
Pest has the cheating felt a bit worse lately for you? No, it hasn't. I know we play on different servers, but I ran into a lot this weekend. I haven't played a lot this weekend, but no, it it feels like I don't, I don't really feel like there's much of a fluctuation. Like besides early, like the first weekend after a wipe, it's horrible. Besides that, it's usually about the same. It's just that sometimes you might run into a multiple in a row. It's the same as like this, uh, the weirdest, wackest discussion I've ever heard. Was this bloody hot take about how certain servers have bosses and certain servers don't based off percentage. And it's like, what? And I actually, I actually made a spreadsheet explaining it. But if the boss spawn rate is like, I don't know, 20%. Um, I was almost going to make a video on it, but I was like, you know what? If people want to be stupid, good on them. But I'll give you the quick summary, right? So say the boss spawn rate is like 20%. You could go... 10 raids without seeing that boss. And there is like... A, I think it's like a... 10 or a 15% chance you'll go 10 raids without seeing the boss. In a row. But then there's also like a 10% chance. Sorry, it was like an 8% chance. You'll see the boss two raids in a row. So what ends up happening is you go 10 raids without seeing the boss. And then you get two raids in a row of seeing the boss. It's not like 100% that's going to happen. But that's what people experience. They go, oh, I haven't seen the boss in like 10 raids. And then all of a sudden they get them like twice in a row. And then, you know, they might go three raids without seeing the boss. And then they'll see him once and all that kind of stuff. And because of that, it brings this whole confirmation bias in that there's this like, oh, there's certain servers don't actually have the boss and blah, blah, blah. And I, I, I always get the boss like four times in a row and then I don't see him for like a day. And if you start running the numbers out on a spreadsheet, it's pretty, like, it's like a bell curve, right? Like. Is level 30 a good achievement for someone with a 9 to 5? I feel like I'm being too slow to level up. Try not to compare to other people, bro. If you're all having fun and you've, you feel accomplished by getting level 30, then that's awesome. Comparison is the thief of all joy. You know, like... If you want... Um, is that affirmation? You're doing well. All right. Honestly, like... If you even play this game past the point of like the first couple of hours of playing the game and you still want to play this game, you have a little bit of something that majority of the population don't. And that's a bit of like sadisticness of pain and suffering. I'm not king shaman. Do I have Hep's key on me? I do. There's three weapon boxes in there. I just don't want to fight the sniper scavs. I'm hoping they're already dead. Oh, nope, that's a no. Fuck. I'm blind? Oh god. Oh god. I didn't even hear that guy next to me. Like, I heard him, like, running up at the very end, but... He sounded very muffled. Alright, we've got slugs and nudes. Everything we need in life. Oh, the snop scab fell. Huge. Of course, it's got an SKS.
Would I rather the SKS or the shotgun? SKS all day. All right. Cheers for five years, Dad. GPU on great. This is a GPU on the great shit. Wait, have they sped up the? That is faster loading. Is it not? Is that not faster? Key the motion to the vest. <sighs> All right, do we need any of these? What's this built for? Scar series rifles. Oh, we'll take these though. What about a HK rail? What's the HK? Is there a HK that's for the gunsmith? There is. Which rail do I need? I don't think it's this one. There's someone coming. There's someone jumping. Did you hear someone jumping? Mogul JS, thanks for six months. You heard that? It was it's a scab talking? Huh. It was nothing. You guys all acting like I'm insane. I'm not insane. Used to be duffel bags in here. A like here. Key spawn here. Old one though. There's either a, the snob scav on top. We've already done this, haven't we? We're gonna die.
Do you think we're late enough? There's an SVDS rail in a box in the HEPs room. That I need for the SVDS. I'm sure I'll find it up again. I am. We'll find more in the future, right? I have to, I have to find like five SVDs to do my Punisher Part Six. So, but we only need to go into West. Right. Is controller on our thing? It is. I have to I have to do flashbang kill? Two? Oh man. <sighs> Alright. Let's get wet job and uh Oh this is this is East three to eight. Alright, we can check East Wing. Someone's been here. believe that it's been four whole years already. Keep on trucking good sir and stay clear of Dutch stairs. Sounds good. Alright, I don't need that. That's Cleopolis. Thanks so much for the four years, dude. Was it PSUs that I needed for... Um, for Bitcoin Farm? Seven, yep. Don't need condensed milk. Unless we want to make sugar, but... Hello. Stu MTG, thanks for three years, dude. If we checked all the duffel all the uh, med bags, we'd find Lettuce is pretty commonly. We actually don't need this, do we? A bit of food and drink would be nice. Someone's definitely been to the resort. I know that much. All right, what are we up to with Gunsmith? Uh, sorry, Punisher Part 5. Packers and 6B helmets. So we need to get more 6B helmets and packers. Uh, 
This is where I always get a little bit flustered in hardcore because it's like, oh, what do I actually really need to take with me? Yeah, I can just put that there. Alright, and what keys do I have? Because Scott eats 306, which is heaps of computers, but... Hey, how you doing, mate? Hey, how you doing? What's going on? Do you have East 328 by any chance or the utility key? Do you have East 328 or the utility key? <laughs> oh, God. Oh, it's a soundboard. I've got AI. Can you say that again? A yeah, yeah, I've got an AI soundboard that makes me sound like him. Sounds pretty cool, huh? Yeah, yeah. There's two, there's two. Pulling up stream. <laughs> Run! He wants my blood. Asymmetrical maps would work in Tarkov if there were no other issues to fix first. I don't know what that means. Stop using big words. Dude, I was in the infantry. All right. <gasps> vitamins, vitamins, vitamins. Boink. All right, we'll go check upstairs real quick. Oh, there was, there was, there was death in this area. Nope. We're not too heavy. We say as we wake up every morning and look in the mirror. We are not too heavy. We are beautiful just how we are. My cholesterol forgives you. <laughs> Groovy, thanks for 17 months. Uh, dead Dragoon lies dreaming. Thanks for the 40 months. Drew B Bird, thanks so much for 25 months. Jokey, thanks for 5 months. Jareel, 30, thanks for 41 months. Diabetes is just a silly name. Ah. Says chaos. You know, the worst thing, it's not the worst thing, but one of the things that you just have to adapt to in life once you have a child is the fact that you're going to get Disney songs in your head permanently. And no one leaves. <laughs> the island provides us <laughs> all we need. <laughs> No, I, honestly, I've, I I love watching 
Moana. It's probably my favorite Disney movie now. There's a scav here or something here. There's um, there's nothing in the rules to say that I, I can't speak to random people and get them to open doors for me. But I just feel weird when they go, personally? And I'm like, ha, 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 ha. say something quick. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's my brother. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, no, more. I'm from America. It's a soundboard. Oh God. Let's bite. That was bite. Just talk like an old British lady. Good afternoon. Oh, you tried. Hello. Stealth nuggets, thanks for 32 months. We didn't get the quest complete, but we got an item. We got, we got part of a quest. Oh, was a door open? Yeah, yeah, West 112. It was like the only door open in the whole building, which was thankful. Now we need, we just need West 216. Don't really need another Jinji keychain, but we have it. Oh, we got one of the sugars. All right, so hide out. Do we have another filter? We do. You tell me I could have been making water this whole time. All right, so we turn this on. Right, so we need, just remind me so I don't forget to turn that off. But we got, we got one moonshine being made. This will be done in two and a half hours and then we can make one more. And then all we need to do, oops. All we need to do for this will be one line. So we need to find one line and two sugars. Yes, hand in vitamins. That's scary. I made a spreadsheet, dead pawn. Are you proud of me? We're spreadsheet game over here now. Man, I really want to get this done. All right, so now it's just West 216. All right, um, we go again. I'm at metabolism is level 40. We'll get this to level 50 in no time. Shit, this actually means we could go interchange. Do we have anything else for interchange? Killer? What would be the best way of killing killer? We actually have um, the guns for it. They are currently inside our hideout. I saved these guns for killer. Is there anything for, sure? for interchange? Might, might be in that. There in house. We don't need a backpack. All right. So we go nighttime interchange and look for killer. All right. We need to get killer. I need to change that over. Oh, it's wrong, wrong, wrong mouse. Is it 38? No killer. It's bloody dark. Who knew? Oh no, no. Well, I'm just gonna have to run straight for no backpack. Without saying what server I play on, I don't generally play on OC server. I rotate my servers daily, but OC I try to avoid. It's just a nasty server. I'll get kicked in the next like 20 seconds if it's a bad server for me. Yep. All right, this is, this is a dead raid for us. I'll tell you a funny thing. If you play on the China server, 
you've very rarely run into any issues. Like, I said, I kid you not, it's it, out of all the servers in the region, it's not the worst. This time of the day, I like to play on certain servers because they're well, way more pop populated. The Philly Skarner, thanks for 12 months. I tell you what. I'm going to get killed with a scab if I try and go this way. But it's the fastest way. So, I'll tell you what. If you stop blaming everyone else for your own death, if, if you stop blaming everyone else for your own death, you'll actually have a lot more fun playing Tarkov. If you just GG next it, you'll actually have a lot more fun playing. And then when you, when you see a guy flying around zooming, that's when you just have a bit of a, a laugh, you know? Because, like, what happens is, it's like a snowball effect. You're like, oh, fucking, I think that guy was cheating. And then the next time I was like, I think that guy was cheating. The next time I was like, oh my God, these fucking cheaters. And then all of a sudden it's like, everybody's cheating. I'm sick of it. And it's like, or it's like, yeah, whatever. I just got outplayed. Or out position. Whatever. Next, GG. I'm going to go this way. I know it's longer. I know it's going to take more re rejoins, but... I can't even get a full sprint in before. The kick. Uh oh. <laughs> I'm dead. I'm so dead. One on Suka! GG next. What? No way. I'm restarting my game. There is no way I still have my gear. Now, I can guarantee you, I'll open up my game now. I'll be dead. With no loot. There we go. Told you. All right change service that way i shouldn't get booted that sucks but it is what it is all right does this mean we have like no rail to shoot no we've got we've got that there cool all right let me go again we definitely need to get some meds all right back on the killer farm Kill up not time for insomnia. Ah! Not that like I want to talk to my exes or anything, but like it'd be cool to talk to all the people I, I knew growing up. There was a, like a big group of friends I had in Melbourne. I lived in Geelong and it'd just be kind of cool to catch up with like all my old friends and people that I used to hang around with a lot from ages ago. Just see what everyone's been up to because it has been forever. Like it's been like, I used to hang out with them when I was like 16, so like 20 years. I lived in Geelong, yeah. I went to St. Joseph's, St. Joseph's College. I grew up in Lara. I, went, I actually was in Geelong the other week and uh, I went through Lara. My house doesn't even exist anymore. They bulldozed it. Lag. I have changed server yet. Yeah. <laughs> We're never ever getting back together. Another scab at the background. Dude. Is there sugar that we can get at the back of the ocean? What else can we do? If killer's not here, insomnia? 
Uh, I've messaged Nikita, asked him to add some barters, but I haven't given him a list yet. Oh, weapon parts is probably something feasible that for us to do. And get PSUs. Not really like a... Like, we don't really need to get Bitcoin farm going. Emicon. Okay, so realistically, the best way for us to get Emicon is actually to try and farm the key. And the best way to farm the key would be doing filing cabinets. So there's a there's a big rack of filing cabinets we can go to. I don't think we need any more car batteries. So is sugar common at the back of Goshen? I can't remember. We should definitely be checking all these weapon crates. None there. Now nah, it was a chain look we don't need. <sighs> well, someone's shooting. Okay, if we can find a backpack, that's actually a decent armor to take. It sounded like someone shooting a shotgun, but that might have been the scav shooting. I died to a scav on that high ping road. So there was sh the shots in Ollie. That's the duffel bag downstairs. Never, ever, ever getting back together. We
Do I want his instead? money hmm. we got an insomnia kill we need a backpack might be one downstairs Tetris is kind of pointless to us. Okay. GG. Ah, uh, he was downstairs, I think. Yeah, I'm guessing it was that guy's teammate. We go back to shoreline. <laughs> back to shoreline. What's the other option? Shoreline's really good for like. We need to keep these for peacekeeping mission now, so let's take this. And I need a heavy bleed. Oh, let's take it like this, I guess. We need to get some meds. We need a backpack. Ugh, do we go shoreline with a huge backpack? It's so terrifying. We got one kill towards insomnia though. Don't we have two of the keys for PSP2? I swear we got a different one as well. We got two keys now. Um, let's get the two jackets. <sighs> there was lag just then, so I'm guessing there's no bosses in here. Oh, the question is, do we go for... Oh, we need to kill Sanitor as well. A teapot or a line as well would be good. Game hates us. That was that way. But we don't need slickers at all anymore unless we just wanted the food. I suppose they are a vest. So good. we don't need any of these items. Nice that we don't have to search all the hideout items. <gasps> That'd be worth 112, won't it? Fuck. Oops. Oh, it could be utility. Could be utility. Could be utility.
That scav that activated to my right wasn't activated on me. It was activated on another player. Geno Sordron, thanks for 15 months. Do you have your two found in raid Lettuxes? I need to find two more. Never, ever, ever getting back together. We he. Should have bought in heaven, kill. They're all scabs. We've attracted all the scabs. We've got to get out of here. West 112 and utility? 
hope you and the family are well. I am, thank you. thinking do we leave now and depot what we've got or do we keep going well we could do cottages that's the only thing to add Try and get like a teapot or a lion. Problem is, if we get a lion, it's going to be really annoying because we'll have to drop that rig. And I don't really want to drop it. But Karawak, thanks for 10 months. Flab, thanks for 18 months. someone hello hung yo hello friendly Hello? We have to leave. Teapot, teapot, teapot. I don't imagine this gun having good ammo in it. It's got BP?
We actually have a daily or something to kill scavs on shoreline with headshots, yeah? Is that a weekly? We actually should try and go reserve and killing Gluhar on hardcore. It will give us a weapon case, which gives us more space as well. So the options for those keys is West 112, East 107, East 108. Uh, and the utility key. They're the four options. I think I've found one of the East 107, 108 keys. So it has to be one of the other three. So utility, 107, or 112. And we found two keys. It could both be the exact same key or they could be two different, but they're definitely worth, it's worth getting out for. And that other key could be anything because it could be a streets key, it could be a Test what made you wanna get Kappa on hardcore Utility would be pog. Before, it yeah. would be really grindy and not good to stream. I haven't done it since season five. <sighs> I haven't done it since season five. And I think it's it's feasible. Besides some of the gunsmith stuff, I think it's feasible. And we killed dash I dash dash I dash. The only thing that uh will be very difficult is the gunsmith stuff, and I'm gonna message BSG. I want to cater about adding some barter trades for some of the stuff. All right, let's see what these keys are. Hopefully, they're not the same. Well, this one could be anything. All right, so that's a safe key for resort. That's actually handy because I think we have one of the other ones. So that means we've got both safe keys. Come on, not the same, not the same, not the same. 107, told you. 112. Damn, we didn't get utility, but... 112 has a blue key card spawn. Not that we're going to look. I suppose, I guess it's vendor. Uh, and 107 can have lead X's in it, so.